aimed at discovering the future stars of Philippine football. The PFF Boys Under-15 Championships kicked off June 2019 until February 2020. 32 teams saw action in the competition that had 8 groups spread across Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. From the 8 groups, 10 teams qualified for the national finals held at the PFF National Training Center in Carmona, Cavite. Topping Luzon Group A was Cordillera RFA, while Group B Luzon saw NCRFA clinching a seat in the national finals. Laguna FA ruled Luzon Group C and FFA of Masbate qualified from Luzon Group D. Iloilo FA and Negros Occidental finished 1-2 in the Visayas group stage to also seal entry to the national finals. Zamboanga del Norte made the national finals by winning Group F in Mindanao, Davao RFA ruled Group G, and Mount Apo RFA and Sox Sargent punched their tickets after a 1-2 finish in Group H. Sox Sargent emerged as the best second team from among the Mindanao groups. So the stage was set for the national championship round at the PFF National Training Center. Action was intense and exciting. From Group A, it was NCRFA and NOFA that took the top spots ahead of Laguna, Masbate, and Cordillera. NCR clinched the number one seed due to a superior goal difference. It was a hard-fought battle in Group B where Davao South RFA and Mount Apo RFA grabbed the number one and number two positions. Both teams finished with seven points, edging perennial favorite Iloilo FA which finished with six points. So one team from Luzon, another from Visayas, and two teams from Mindanao entered the final four that will be played in February. So one team from Luzon, another from Visayas, and two teams from Mindanao will contest the crown in the final four. And showing its attacking might, NCR dropped Mount Apple 4-0 to set up a finals duel with Nofa that barely survived Davao with a 1-0 scoreline. An intriguing clash in the championship round awaits as both teams also battled to a thrilling 3-3 draw in the group stage. Before the finals, Mount Apo overpowered Davao for the third place trophy 5-1. NCR represented by Makati FC and coached by Richard Leble took on Nofa handled by Coco Treyes in the final. As both teams took the field, they were both brimming with optimism and confidence. But despite a host of chances for both squads, the two teams failed to find the back of the net for 90 minutes. It took a 95th minute header from Dominic Tom to put NCRFA ahead. That lead was never relinquished as NCR went on to capture the title 1-0. So after 122 matches, it was NCRFA that came out on top. Tom ended the tournament as the top goal scorer with 9 goals and he was also named most valuable player. His teammates Jose Antonio Gonzalez and Martin Merino were named best goalkeeper and best defender respectively. Dominic Dreyfus of Nofa was named best midfielder. So look out for these young standouts for they will be the future stars of Philippine football.